with Bumpy's Frozen Pizza Reviews. Yeah. On this episode of Bumpy's Frozen Pizza Review from Pizzeria, uh, Pizzeria Uno, I have their classic sausage, Chicago deep uh, dish style pizza. Uh, this has mozzarella, parmesan, and Romano cheese, and Italian sausage topped with tomato sauce on Uno deep dish crust. That's what it looks like still in the cellophane wrapper. I'm going to try to cook this one once again using the extra hot, fast method with the uh, cast iron skillet. One problem is, is this thing says frozen cook for 50 to 55 minutes at 375. I mean, I'm doing 550 and the cast iron skillet's going to raise it up. So I'm going to have to try to just keep an eye on this, I guess, and maybe check temperature. Because I think I'm going to have to cook it longer than 10 minutes. But we'll find out, I guess. Okay, so I got this one out of the pan. Um, yeah, after 10 minutes, it really started to darken the crust. This, this just happens to be one of those pizzas that you should just follow the instructions on because what happened was after uh, added in for like 13, 12 to 13 minutes, the crust was starting to kind of burn on top and uh, the center was uh, still frozen. So I had to uh, turn down the temperature to its recommended time. Uh, I've got it now, it's it's definitely way hotter than, and that's not even, my, my thermo, I love it when my thermometer doesn't even go on. What is happening here? Maybe it's time for a battery change. Anyways, this thing was way above temperature that it needed to be when I did pull it out by like 15 degrees. Um, but definitely got up hot enough. Been letting it sit down for a little bit. Oh, now the thermometer wants to turn on. There we go. Um, so he wanted at least 165 degrees, and it, it definitely got got way up there. Um, so like I've, I've had this thing sitting out for like 10 minutes now, um, just because I know when I cut into it, all this sauce is probably just going to run out. But I'm going to do that right now. Uh, price on this pizza is nine dollars seventy four cents. Got it at Walmart. Um, the bottom I tried to pick it up a little bit it did look a little bit dark hopefully it's not totally burnt all over like this little side here I mean, that's kind of doable it's, it's okay not looking not looking terrible let's cut it oh, that is, there we go. crisp little bit of the crust there you can just uh, maybe not I didn't have the camera on it <clears throat> just kind of lift this up a little bit here just watch the sauce kind of go I don't know, I want to <sighs> yeah I don't know let's just follow the instructions on this one I think but we gotta get this over I'm gonna let it cool some more just cut it and then uh, and then I'll attempt to eat some all right, so we're going to attempt to take a bite. Let's first lift it up. Some people might eat this with a fork. Um, it's still steaming, man. It's been, <laughs> it's been out for like 15, 20 minutes. Still steaming. Um, looks very nice, though. It is a nice looking pie for sure, and this is more like a pie. Um, on the carriage, did get just a little bit darker, but not looking bad, not looking bad. Um, so yeah, you probably still do it in like a cast iron pan, but do it for the, uh, the recommended temperature and closer to the time. Um, hot and fast is not, not going to work for this kind of thicker, thicker pie apparently, especially if it's frozen. Maybe it would have worked better with a thawed pie. Uh, let's try to take a bite. Hopefully this doesn't burn the hell out of my mouth. All right, it didn't burn my mouth. Yeah, uh, I mean, obviously lots of lots of tomato sauce, um, some gooey mozzarella cheese underneath all this sauce, getting a nice, I don't know, what, what was the other 
Parmesan Romano cheese um, sausage. I do see a bit of sausage right there. Um, I can't really taste the sausage as of yet, though. All right, not bad. And then I got some of the, uh, the crust. There was a little bit of sausage in there. Sausage, sausage is all right, but it seems to be almost kind of scarce. I mean, I can see it now at least, but sausage does have a little bit of that kind of strange frozen pizza sausage flavor a little bit. Uh, but yeah, the uh, sauce is pretty nice. I mean, it's a very just chunky tomato sauce. Getting all the cheese, different cheese flavors are nice. The crust is, is pretty good too. It's not overly cooked, I guess. With the crust, I mean, being um, a little bit darker than what's recommended, you do get kind of a little caramelization of it. Not bad. Um, that piece of, I'll probably avoid that. That's just gonna be burnt. Not goodness. All right. Um, that's just kind of the same flavors over and over again. It's um, definitely different. It's almost like eating a like a heavily um, sauced pasta dish or something with how much sauce is on this. Expect to have some spaghetti noodles or something. But um, yeah, it's, it's it's fairly good. It's it's different. I actually I kind of prefer the way that we get our fake Chicago deep dish pizzas here with the. The sauce below still, and then just thick amounts of cheese and toppings and stuff all over the top. Um, but yeah, it's not bad. Uh, yeah, I, I think for the style, I'll, I'll buy this again, uh, a different one. Um, they have different ones other than classic sausage. I've never been really a sausage fan when it comes to like frozen pizzas, especially. But. Uh, yeah, they got pepperoni. They got some other ones. I'll, I'll, I'll give it a try. I'll get them with this style and uh, and cook it to the recommended uh, way of cooking it. See if it comes out even better. Um, this one's not bad though. I'd still say it's um, I'd say it's top end good, uh, bottom end very good. Uh, just uh, yeah, it didn't. It's not wowing me the way that I thought it might, uh, but it's definitely different. So, anyways, uh, cheers. Thank you all for watching.